Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and as promised, I wanted to go over my pocket or smaller size everyday carries that I keep in my bag. Now these four stay in my bag. This one is actually in my uh, Superior Labor bag, but I get into it every day and it is a pocket size and I didn't go over it, so I just thought I would throw that in here. Um, and then this is the Nano, the Chic Sparrow Nano in Daphne, and this has not changed. This is just quite literally um, pieces of note paper that I cut down from a B6 Coco Daisy and that is strictly just if I need to do a note or leave a note really quick. So this is my wallet and it is a uh, speckled fawns and it is a micro. This is their smallest version and it is in the Dublin leather and it has a front pocket, uh, upright pocket with rivets. And then you have a pocket here, which I don't have anything in right now. But it is a pull-up leather, and you can see how that changes. It's an oil tan leather. And then I have several of these little um, uh, dashboards. And these are actually from Kukuyo. And I actually bought these by a case. I got them half of that. It's a case of 20, and I paid um, $3 for it. And they work in a passport. I mean, I've used them in, uh, they're evidently a B8 size, but they are just single little um, dashboards. And they work great in the passport. And I bought like two cases of these and two cases of some longer ones. Um, but I love them and they're just perfect. So, um, and I just use them for um, my credit cards and such. Um, obviously, I have those cut down. And then this is um, an insert that I picked up uh, off of a buy, sell, trade. And it, it's, it was a handmade one, but it was coffee. And I was like, oh, I have to have it. Um, but I'm as soon as Kylie Reichman actually comes back <laughs> online doing the, um, the inserts again, I want to pick up a passport and a... Um, uh, pocket uh, of her inserts because this one is pretty bulky um, and as you can tell this zipper part of it kind of sticks out a little far but it, it doesn't really bother me too much but you've got card pockets there and then I've got cards in there cards in there and then this just holds I just put my cash in there um, and uh, then it's got card pockets there and then that's it but again like it's bulky and then I've got um, another set of card things there. And back here, I've got a secretarial pocket. Again, so you can see how it pulls up. And then coupons. So that is my wallet. Uh, I went down from the passport to the micro. And I've been loving this so far. It just kind of, I mean, it's chunky. Don't get me wrong. It is a chunky monkey. Um, but you can tell the difference between the Nano and the... Um, the Chic Sparrow Nano and the Speckled Fawns, um, these are technically the same size, but yeah, that one sticks up a little bit higher, um, and it's obviously wider there. So that's my wallet. Um, and then I have these two pockets. This one is um, a pocket deluxe from Chic Sparrow in the Perseus, and I had it um, engraved with my name, Badass Valkyrie, and I love this one. Oh, I got it the same time that I got the Daphne, and um, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Um, I just have a little um, Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, onesie there, I'm just sticking out there, because I don't really put um, business cards in there, because it sticks out just a little far. Then I've got dashboards. That's my adorable little husband. I love him. Uh, this is my um, Fabriano bullet journal. So this is my on-the-go bullet journal that's just with me. And like right now, I've just got a running um, grocery list to get. But um, as you can see, I'm almost done with that. And then I'll pull that out and I'll use um, a field notes. And then I've got uh, my little... Don't be salty is kind of crooked, but oh well. And then I've got my Field Notes calendar, my 2019 calendar there. And my Eek from Field Notes, which has 
lovely orange paper, and that is my journal. This is where I do most of my journaling. Um, if I need to get something out or whatnot, this is where I do it. Um, that has my budget, just so I have it someplace where I can look at it. Um, and then this is the 2018 calendar that they sent out, and I just put it back there just to reference. Then you have another dashboard with some Cocoa Daisy um, of the Cherry Blossom papers. And then this is my um, running uh, run log for the year. And this is where I track all my miles. So this is April so far. Um, that was March. This is February. This is January. And this goes all the way back to May 1st, 2018. So I'm just logging my miles there. So this will last me for quite a while. And then another of the Cocoa Daisy papers. And this, these are Foxy Fix um, pocket-sized dashboards. So that's what's in here. And then this is a Chic Sparrow dashboard that just has um, Life Begins After Coffee vellum. And this is the um, Field Notes. Um, it's kind of like their agenda uh, memo book. And uh, I think it's called Resolutions. And um, it has... You, it, it's like, it's kind of like a baby weeks, really. But this is where I track my running and other exercises and things like that. So any of the workouts that I can just, that are, I mean, I do put my runs in here as well. But it's also other exercises that I'm doing. And then more of the coffee um, vellum. And then in the back, it's got a um, secretarial pocket. And then just um, little coupons or anything like that. I have these actually come with birth control, and um, I actually cut out the dates, the date covers, because I never use them. And they make great. Um, you can use them in, in. I mean, you could use these over, you know, into a field notes or even in your weeks. Um, and so they're just date covers in case I need them. And then uh, this just lets me put like little random things in there so that it doesn't get bent up or anything. And this one's got some of the book darts in it. So, but I love these little covers because they just flip in so nicely and tuck in there and keep things uh, from falling out. So that's my pocket and that is just my reference. And I love it and I get into it every day. And then this is my other pocket. And this one will go with me whatever I'm doing. It is a Foxy Fix, and we are still not sure what leather this is. Um, it might It's not the Sojourner leather, leather we know that. Um, so we're still trying to figure out what leather it is. It's very, um, uh, very smooth. It almost reminds me of what the Pelican would be, the Pelican leather from Chic Sparrow. Um, because it's got, it's like a waxy feel on it. Um, so, uh, again, I got this off Buy, Sell, Trade. And the person I bought it from said that it was a 2017 special order um, leather. So, I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, this has the secretarial pockets. And this is from Yellow Paper House. And I just really liked it. And I just slipped it in there. This is my uh, food journal. And this is all this is. Is just me tracking my meals and my fasting. So I just, I write down all my meals and put them in here. And that's my panda with a banana. And then I've got a cover, it's a cork cover on this, which is a moleskin um, daily. And I'm just using that. This is strictly for my fasting. So, um, it tracks when I am doing a fast. Last night was 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. this morning. And then I'll skip a day. And then I'll go on Saturday night to Sunday morning. And then I'll skip a day. Then 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. skip a day. 6 p.m. 10 a.m. to skip a day. So that's how I set up my 16. It's called 16-8. And um, just for the month of, Mar of April, this is how I'm doing it. And then in... Uh, May, we will see if I take that day out, that extra day, and then just do 6 to 10 a.m., 6 to 10 a.m. We'll see. I'm not sure. Or I may keep it that way again. And then back here, you have, um, and this is called, it's just a daily, I think. Oh, wait. 
says it up here. It is the Moleskin Weekly Notebook in the pocket size. Um, and then what I've done is back here, if I have any notes or anything like that, then if it, I, I just write down how the fast went, what I was feeling, all of that, and um, how I did. Uh, we, you know, if I got hungry, how I did on a race day, all of that kind of thing. Uh, like yesterday and today, um, I was sick on Wednesday, the 17th, and I couldn't keep really anything down other than peanut butter toast. That That is my go-to when I'm sick. And so Greg brought home pizza, but uh, because I have a gastric bypass and my stomach was still upset, it took me almost two hours to eat dinner, and which was two pieces of pizza, of the thin, really thin crust pizza from Pizza Hut. It was the only thing that sounded good. And so I didn't start my fast until 10 o'clock. And then I went till 1045 this morning. So I had, so instead of a 16 hour fast, it was only a 12 hour and 45 minute fast, which is fine. I just wanted to note that. And then I have my next fast um, between Saturday at 6 p.m. to Sunday at 10 a.m. And then from there. So this way during the week, if I have any issues or whatnot, or if I find myself getting really hungry or jittery or whatever, then I can note that in here. I've had a couple of hypoglycemic um, issues, but it was because I was being stupid. So uh, I just wanted to note that so that I know what to do next time. And then this has a zipper uh, pouch on the back if I ever needed it. The only reason I have this in here is to hold a pen. So I wanted, I didn't want to put this, this sticky pen on here. And that's just my high tech C slim knock, which I love. And then I have one of the Hobonichi um, rivet, uh, A6 rivet uh, markers in here um, as well, because I wanted more than one um, bookmark. So that is my fasting notebook. And I just wanted something simple. I got this for 20 bucks um, off of. Uh, the buy sell trade group and what I I specifically wanted this the um, secretarial pockets and this was perfect and I wanted it just to be a single strand because this will just slide into the front if I wanted to put another book in the back I could but it's just a single strand and that is perfect I didn't want it to be really super thick um, these are the same height they're both pockets as you can tell, there is a little bit of a difference as far as width wide there because this is a four string, this is a single strand. Um, but the height is the same. But this is a Chic Sparrow and this is a Boxy Fix. So, there you have it. Those are what normally stay in my bag. And obviously you can tell I've been on a brown and orange kick this year. Then last but not least, this is my... Um, 10 ideas a day notebook. And this is again, a moleskin, um, daily diary for 2019. And this is the Harry Potter Lumos cover. And the way it differs from the moleskin in my other one, that one's a weekly and this one's a daily. So you have, um, in the front, you have the years of a glance, and then you've got a month on one page. And then, I, and I really don't really use those at all. Then you've got 2020, um, year at a glance, and all of the normal little things that you go, and then some notes. But you get one page a day. And this is something that I picked up from James, James Altucher. Um, listening to his podcasts and seeing him on Impact Theory. He talks about writing down 10 day ideas a day, no matter what. Doesn't matter what it's for, just 10 ideas a day, just to keep his brain exercised. Just like you would exercise, or you would practice yoga, or you would go running, or whatnot. It just keeps your creativity flowing. And I've been doing this since February 27th. And originally I was just gonna do one idea a day, but then um, after looking more into it, he writes down 10 quick, like a list, 10 ideas that he could do. Um, like 10 ideas I could write about, uh, 10 coffee shop ideas, um, the 10 ideas for my guest room, what I need to get done, 
uh, video tour ideas, vlog ideas, um, things I want to do for my body, um, topics for my podcast, uh, feeling better, prettier, more awesome, things that would make me feel better for self-care, um, ideas on how to rest and recover when I'm, when I am sick, um, habits I need to change or start, uh, backyard ideas for goals uh, for the second quarter, um, how to reduce stress on my muscles and joints, Ideas for beginning runners. Um, and it can continue on. Like, I've got something back here already for my coffee shop, but I wanted, I still had more ideas. Um, what I want to be able to do as a 100-year-old badass. These are things that I still want to do when I'm 100 years old. Um, ideas for the 100-day project. Um, and this was how I broke down trying to figure out what I was going to do for the 100-day project. Um... Ideas on how to help myself fast, things I need to do to help my microbiome, um, ideas or on topics to speak about involving dynamic harmony. This is for the TEDx um, speaker series here, and by the end of this month, I I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this year or not, but I'm their uh, topic is dynamic harmony, and you can give a TEDx speech and so or a TED talk. And so these are ideas that I could incorporate around that theme. Um, foods that need to be added into our meals, ways, um, you know, actions to take for decluttering the closet room, you know, whatever it is. Um, and then if I think of something, then I'll write it down in the future. So like um, uh, tomorrow's, I already had an idea, habits I want to add to my daily routine. So today's was um, how to increase my habit account, how to, how to increase my habits accountability and how I can incorporate daily hand exercises into my day because I went through PT. So it's, it's totally random, but it's 10 ideas a day. And he talks about putting it on like a menu p uh, card or a menu pad and then just tearing it off and throwing it away. But I have really loved being able to go back and have these ideas. And a lot of these ideas are things that I will probably never incorporate but again then again they could be you know certain things happen in my life and I'm like okay well I have this book of ideas for an entire year and so um I've been loving just going in and doing a, a random 10 uh ideas a day and it has been awesome and so I do that first thing in the morning uh this is actually the first thing I do once I while I'm starting at my computer and everything at work I pull this out and write down 10 ideas and it gets the creative juices flowing. And um, it, like I said in my blog uh, that I just posted on Tuesday, it I was going to do a list and I was going to do 10 ideas of, of you know, uh, of all the things that I've done in my past 12 years. Um, and I was like, all right, let's go. And I was like, I couldn't stop myself. And I'm like, this is going to take forever. And so I didn't do a list, but it was easy to come up with that. And it was as soon as I thought, oh, then I need to make a list of what I've done this year. I was like, Boo. and then I'm like, wait a minute, this is going to take a long time if I did do this for the past 12 years. So it just makes it easier when you're like trying to come up with ideas on being creative or whatever video ideas or whatnot. This thing has helped so much and I really enjoy doing it every morning. And so, um, it has definitely done what he said is help your creative muscle function. And it's made coming up with ideas off the, off the cuff very easy. So there you have my um, pocket or smaller everyday carries. And um, there you go. I will be doing a video um, on some comparisons and stuff very soon. But... Um, these are things that I do not leave the house without, and I love them. And these uh, these go in my bag, no matter what they are. Goes in my handbag, and then this goes in my planner carrier. So, uh, but there you have it, my everyday carries, and what I've been doing for the past month or so too. And um, I hope this has helped. And I and this is getting a really really beautiful patina. It's getting scratched up. But I, I don't baby it at all. And um, I got some schmutz on there. But I love it. 
I love the way it looks. I love the way my Daphne has been getting patina and all of these. Now, this one got two scratches right there just before I came in here because Tear was laying on it and something spooked him. And so he dug his claw in there. But you know what? It's, it is what it is. And none of my books, I, none of my covers I'm precious with. So I, they get beat up and that's okay because that's what they're for. So there you have it. And I, um, will be talking to you guys later about some different comparisons, like I said, but I, as always, I hope you spend the rest of your life celebrating and I hope, I hope that you are celebrating right now because you know, being in the now and being in the moment is one of the most important things. And I have enjoyed that so much and realizing that that has helped me tremendously going forward. And I hope it helps you as well. So I will talk to you in my next video. Have a great day.